Welcome everybody. So, this is an unboxing. Now you already know what it is. You already know it's an Oculus Rift because you clicked on the title. So let's get straight into it. See there, it's fragile. And some plastic wrapping. Oh, I'm cutting that. I don't need that box. No way. Oh, a nice little handle as well. Retractable. That's really nice. So we've got a nice cover. And as you see. And this is the back. So, as you see in the box, we have a headset. This is this one. A sensor. And a remote. And, of course, the Xbox One wireless controller. So we'll have a little uh, receiver in here as well, but it doesn't seem to display that. So let's just turn it back over this one. Uh, and look at that box. Box looks really nice. Nice little carrying case, as you see. So, let's be open it. This way. It's all magnetic as well. Oh, that feels so nice. So this is pretty much what we get inside the box. So let's get started. Set up your Rift. Go to oculus.com forward slash setup. Unfortunately, I had to return my motherboard. Now... I am going to be receiving that tomorrow. So hopefully my friend will be coming around with his gaming laptop. Or my other friend with his PC. And I will be able to check this out tonight. If not, we'll be checking it out tomorrow. But we'll get to unbox it anyway. So we're going to start with the little remote control. All pops back in there quite nice. Look at that. So this is a nice feeling. So that is a little remote control, you can press it. You've got two buttons on the side, return button and Oculus button as well. So for the camera guys, it is using my phone. Um, a normal game, but I thought I'd do this little video as well. So we're going to get the sensor out. Ooh, look at that. So yes, in fact, we're going to leave the sensor. And we're going to look at the, it's just a bog standard Xbox control. But nonetheless, it's a wireless control. Oh, it's even got the uh, 3.5mm auxiliary input. Input, output, which means that you could um, have headphones on there. And of course, the receiver. Just a USB, press that to sync them up. Everything's got its own little. Ooh, that's just supplied some batteries. Look at that, they've supplied some batteries. Batteries included. Hmm, not quite sure what that is. Sure, we'll find out. It's got its own little spot there. As as you see, I'm just... Looks like we've got some... Let's clean the lenses. I'm guessing that was meant to be inside there. Oh, we have a sticker! And a sticker. I keep forgetting the camera's over there. And we've got some... Booklets, all different languages, and a fragile sign. Right, I'll put them back in there because they seem to 
and they're quite nice. And they did before I pulled them out. Right. Just to make it smell nice. Take all the moisture out of the box, and um, we have a USB extension. I think I'm glad I actually bought one because I'll need it a little bit longer than that. It seems to be about a meter. This, that's, that's... yeah, it's going to be about a meter. I'm not even going to unwind that because it's nicely. So we can put that back in there. And then, oh yeah, the sensor before we get to the bad boy. This is the sensor. Not as big as I thought it was going to be. Maybe empty on there. That's on that side. No, they could clean us. Okay. Now it's got quite a girthy, a lengthy piece of wire on it as well, so you can set that up pretty, pretty far away. I'm sure that'll set that up in the software. And then we have the actual headset itself. Is there anything underneath here? No, I think it's just the box that's. So, welcome back, guys. To see my ugly mug. So, what we're doing now is we're just going to untangle all the uh, wires. Take all this tape off. Right, so now we've got the plastic off the cabling. As you see, it is just one cable. Um, coming from the headset. It's quite a lengthy cable actually. And if you see at the end, it just splits off into two. So we've got a HDMI pop and we have a 3.0 USB. I'll put that cover back on for now. And just before we do install everything, because I'm still waiting for my motherboard to be turned, I've got some little plastic things on here, so we'll take them off. They're so nice. And got a retractable set. Some headphones that move down quite freely, quite easy to take off if you can see there, I can't see, well I'm using my phone to record so you probably won't see it but there's a little slot there I'm assuming they just turn to get that off so let's just put it on as it comes, oh as you see, there's a little lever underneath, depending on how wide your uh, eyes are apart. So, nice matte black finish with a bit of velcro on top. Ooh, no, I dropped it. So, let's try it on. Uh, obviously, I can't see anything. Um, it seems this strap could do with being adjusted a little bit. My head is a little bit large. So, yeah, it, it fits quite comfortable. Um, you get a little bit of leakage here, in your nose. Um, I'm sure once I've got something on the display, it won't really bother me that much. I could. Yeah. I don't know how it looks. Because obviously, I can't see anything. It feels quite comfy. So, let's take it off and uh, get it installed. <laughs> 